football season. There are six channels providing all the very latest news and action from the circuit. Three, three, five, five, take five. Designated directors ensure that each channel provides its own coverage while keeping the viewer in touch with every aspect of the race meeting. It is currently available to German, French, Italian, Austrian, Swiss and Spanish audiences who are able to watch Formula One in a new and unique way with the six channels produced in a mobile studio facility travelling to each and every Grand Prix. From the menu page, viewers can choose which aspect of the event to follow with the extra channels, providing yet more comprehensive new coverage. Channel 1 is a mix of five channels with the best action, keeping the viewer up to date with what is happening on the track, in the pits and in the paddock. Extensive knowledge of racing ensures that qualifying is fully covered from the fastest to the unexpected, every aspect transmitted on air. When Damon Hill qualified third in Hungary, he was live on Channel 1. Cameras are positioned to give coverage as never before. New technology being utilised to provide new perspectives to motor racing. This unique approach brings news to the viewer sometimes before the teams. Are you aware that Ralph spun the car out at uh, back of the circuit? No, I'm not aware of that. Did, did he continue? I don't believe he did continue, no. Oh, that is a very big disappointment. I wasn't aware of that. Channel 2 is designed to specifically follow the race leaders, able to cover the action as it happens. Capturing events such as Giancarlo Fisichella's puncture and the failure of Michael Schumacher's wheel bearing. Channel 3, being an extra track channel, follows the excitement further down the field. Digital television allows coverage to encompass the entire field, from front runners to midfield battles. Every instant captured as it happens and its result. The sheer number of cameras allow incidents to be captured from various angles, such as this dramatic incident involving Johnny Herbert at Monza. Channel 4 is exclusively for on-board cameras. From the start lights to Parc Ferme, the race is covered solely from cameras located in interesting and imaginative positions, leading to some quite spectacular results. This channel allows the viewer to see events from a driver's perspective, from angles that reveal much that is hidden to the average television viewer. Channel 5 combines the action and atmosphere of the paddock and the pit lane. Plus informative technical appraisals. Even if two drivers pit simultaneously, both stops are still covered. Session highlights are run every 20 minutes and bring only the very best coverage. Also, accidents are edited, broadcast and analysed within seconds of their occurrence. Finally, there are exclusive on-the-spot interviews. Paul, tell me how you feel right now. Uh, well, I just... Uh... 
I, I don't know. I'm obviously very emotional. I, I you know, it's just it's super. I, I, how could we expect to come to Monaco and finish second the first time here? I'm just, I mean, I, I can't say more than that. Jackie, how, Jackie, how's this compared to your own wins? Oh, fantastic. I'm so happy. I can't tell you how happy I am. <laughs> I've never been second in Monaco. Channel 6 gives unrivaled access to the data behind a Grand Prix. The same information that the teams themselves use. It allows every driver's performance to be monitored, the information being continuously updated on screen. Experience the tension of drivers and their team bosses as orders change in crucial qualifying sessions.